Over the next couple of days, we celebrate the adoption of the Declaration of Independence on July 4, 1776, declaring that the 13 American colonies regarded themselves as a new nation, the United States of America, and no longer part of the British Empire. What a great reason to celebrate. So many of us will celebrate this time of year with fabulous firework displays, beautiful creations that light up the night with color, sound, and choreography. I can hear the oohs and the ahs already. But let us not forget, and let us not allow our children to forget what we are celebrating, the signing of the Declaration of Independence, the most important document ever signed in American history. Francis Scott Key, in September of 1814, wrote our national anthem that included these famous words, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave. When you hear and see the fireworks exploding, I encourage you to pause. Take a moment to think about the bombs bursting in air, to share with your children the sacrifices that have been made in order for us to be able to experience the celebration of July 4th. Francis Scott Key had it right, for the land of the free, and the home of the brave. Happy Fourth of July.